Avengers Infinity War is the number one movie in the world. Bingo! All right. An explosion of action and laughs. Yes! It's epic. Oh, this is amazing! A powerful ride. That's 100% really good. Avengers Infinity War. Rated PG-13. Now playing. Let's talk about this plan of yours. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we use. We have an incredibly collaborative team at Marvel Studios. Victoria Alonso seeing us through with the visual effects and making sure we deliver the film. And it really becomes an amazing sort of crucible of creativity. And that is the reason I think the films turn out as well as they do is because everyone has this shared vision of the audience experience. Boom! So in terms of visual effects, when you're working with IMAX, you have to consider the bigger frame. And, and you do it you know, on a, on a scale of understanding creatively and partially technically in terms of what you have to deal with. Creatively, you've got much more room to animate in and then kind of consider what your characters are doing in the frame. In addition to that, you also have to now, you're carrying so much more data because of how much more resolution you have in the actual picture. And which ultimately, when it gets projected on a large screen, you want all the extra data for all that extra detail. And that's one of the amazing things about IMAX is you actually see that. Oh my goodness. I mean, there are so many digital characters in this. We have nine all CG talking characters. So you've got vision and you've got other ones that we enhance. So Nebula Vision, we will, we will enhance. But then you've got Rocket, Groot, Thanos, who's in over 600 shots in this film. So we have not only had to do enhancements to the live action characters, but they're digital performers left and right. And Doctor Strange is beautiful. Like, I like his effects quite a bit. Um, Iron Man's always fun, and in this one, he has a bleeding edge suit, so he can kind of transform into anything he wants it to. So for Infinity War, we knew going in that if Thanos didn't work, the film didn't work. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Thanos was definitely the biggest challenge. So it was something that we, we did test very early for Thanos. The great thing about visual effect work is the technology continues to evolve. So every couple of years, you have more tools in that toolbox than you had a couple of years ago. And one of the things that we're most excited about is the character of Thanos. We knew he was gonna have to carry the film. And as such, it was, it was just a, a great deal of pressure to get him right. Working with Josh Brolin and having that come through, it, he just couldn't have been more perfect. Because the technology allows for very, very subtle nuances of a performance to come through. So when we showed him some of the footage, he just was floored. He's like, oh my god, I can't. He's like, I do that, I do that. This <laughs> does put a smile on my face. Seeing an IMAX is the best way to see it, because you do get to see all this detail that we put into the characters, you know, on a very large frame. And, and the best part, you know, after seeing it in IMAX for the first time is all that detail holds up. How is this dude still alive? He is not a dude. You're a dude. This, this is a man. A handsome, muscular man. A muscular man. <laughs>